stick with me here, Shannon. You and I were together on Friday. We were hosting The Five, okay? And during the show, by the way, it's when I think we found out, Greg brought it up to us, this thing that happened in the Senate hearing chamber, okay? Mm -hmm. We've talked about it this morning, where uh, allegedly a Senate aide um, filmed like basically gay porn in the Senate hearing chamber, okay? I, since that time, and we talk, this is a big story, and it's not just like, hey, let's talk about how gross this is or whatever. This happened in the Senate chambers on an administration, within an administration that has promised to bring back the norms. On the other hand, Donald Trump, before he went to Nevada last night, was in New Hampshire, and he said this when talking about immigration. Listen. When they let, I think the real number is 15, 16 million people into our country, when they do that, we got a lot of work to do. They're poisoning the blood of our country. That's what they've done. They poison mental institutions and prisons all over the world, not just in South America, not just the three or four countries that we think about, but all over the world. Okay, so Shannon, the mainstream media uh, is going to talk about this. They already are. It is going to take over everything. Poison the blood of our country when talking about illegal immigration. In fact, the Biden-Harris administration has already jumped all over it. They tweeted or said the following. Tonight, Donald Trump channeled his role models as he parroted Adolf Hitler, praised Kim Jong-un, and quoted Vladimir Putin while running for president on a promise to rule as a dictator and threaten American democracy. He is betting he can win this election by scaring and dividing the country. He's wrong. The reason I bring up those two stories to you, Shannon, is I had thought, and I think it should be a big deal that we're talking about what happened in the Senate hearing chamber, and I think what we're going to do, I think what's going to happen here, Shannon, for the next couple of days is we're going to latch on to three words that Donald Trump said, and it's going to drive the news cycle. 